Hi scholars, today we are going to be learning how to uh, subtract when we have two digits and subtract two digits from that. But the catch is that today we're only going to be subtracting um, a certain number of tens from a given number that we start with. So let's start with the first, our first problem, which is 54 minus 20. 54 minus 20. Now we talked about place value before, and th in this 54 we have, we have four ones and five tens, or five tens and four ones. So let me place down first five tens and four ones. Putting down five tens first. This is the tens place, so I'll place those five tens right there. One, two, three, four, Five. I've placed down five tens, and now I'm going to place four ones. One, two, three, four. Four what? Four ones. Okay, now I come to the subtraction sign. Subtraction means that we are going to take away. Now, let's watch this first, because we talked about what a subtraction problem means. Subtraction problem will always tell us that the first number to the left of the subtraction sign will be the total, and the number that comes after the subtraction sign is what we're going to take away, because that is one of the parts. Okay? So we're trying to figure out what the other part would be when put together with 20 to make 54. Let's take two tens away, because two is in the tens place and zero ones. So taking away means that I'm going to physically take them out of the group. So let me take two tens. One ten, two tens. I've taken two tens away. It doesn't say to take any ones. So my answer is three tens and four ones. Three tens and four ones tells me that I have 34. So 54 minus 20 equals three tens and four ones, which is 34. Because this is the ones place and this is the tens place. Three tens and four ones. Okay. Next, let's model our second subtraction problem. Our second subtraction problem is 78 minus 30. 78 minus 30. So this problem is telling us to start out with 7 tens, 8 ones. Let's do that. 7 tens, 8 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven what? Seven tens. Because remember, numbers are adjectives that tell you how many of the denomination you have or tell you how many units you have. This is the noun. Tens are nouns. So you have seven tens. And now, eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have seven tens and eight ones. That's what I'm, I am starting out with. Now I am subtracting. That means I am taking away. It means I'm taking away three tens and zero ones. So all I'm going to do is look here. Do I have three tens to take away? Yes, I do. So I'm going to take away three tens. One ten, two tens, three tens. I've taken away three tens and zero ones. So I'm left with a I'm left with a number of four tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight ones. So f I'm left with four tens and eight ones. So seventy eight minus thirty equals 48.
because 4 is in the tens place, and that's what I have, and 8 is in the ones place. You can use these number chips to solve this subtraction problem, um, but once you begin to use these number chips more often, you then can begin to form a picture in your mind of what this number will look like using these chips. So then actually, in your mind, you can picture 78 and then take away 3 tens from, that, from the 7 tens that you already have. So then all you're really doing is looking at the tens place and taking away 3 tens from 7 tens, and your ones place will remain the same. Okay? And so you can use this strategy um, to help you to do the math using the manipulatives, and then eventually you can um, grow from that and be able to not use the manipulatives and just be able to do, do these problems in your head because you have a picture of what the manipulatives are actually doing or the number disks. Hope you enjoyed and have a great time with math.